All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and welcome back to the channel. Today in the house with Scott Cook Loxa custom knife. Guys, come on, this is insane. Hard to see this thing on uh, uh, YouTube because uh, this is uh, very hard to get and really and I mean really expensive piece look at that so first of all I need to say a huge thank you to my buddy Guillaume for sending this beauty along I mean come on man I really appreciate this uh, uh, it's incredible it's just like look at this anyways let's just go ahead and check this bad boy out uh, this is the uh, certificate of authenticity you get to see some uh, of the specs uh, for this uh, bad boy right over here so you have uh, pretty much 3.5 inch long blade with a three and a 0.2 inch long cutting edge 4.5 for the handle with an overall length of 8.2 uh, inches uh, right there and um so i mean let's just clean this thing because it deserves uh, to be shining on the channel so it's uh, uh i was saying this guy is it's a special one uh, this is something you don't really see often uh, on youtube because uh, i mean first of all like this thing is four thousand dollars so uh, and that's already like one hindrance to obtain this fella and second of all you cannot get this it's like um if if it's being posted uh on facebook or i don't know ebay whatever instagram it it's gonna go like quick somebody's gonna be snatching this so quick that you just don't even realize because there's no there's no inventory for this stuff and uh, uh this is like one of the 22 uh, 2022 releases uh, from scott cook and it's just like a spectacular one so this is an integral knife um like uh you know maybe you if you follow the channel you probably you might be used to like peter Rassenti stuff nice integral design that's mokutai um this is also you know it follows the same concept of an integral piece of titanium just like a solid billet milled out to um you know to 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 achieve this thing so to achieve the frame which is one solid chunk of titanium so integral 6al4 v uh, titanium for the handle with a a nice and i mean nice bead blast like sand blast finish kind of like in the sebenza kind of would feel you know something like this would feel um with some satin flats to create this unique contrast, which is just mesmerizing. It underlines the contouring of the handle. Look at this, like this flowing lines. It's just like spectacular, like something uh, in cry like this just sweeps down and gently just widens up and a little bit over here. Very, very gentle and sinuous line. So the chamfering, uh, like being satin creates like a, a very nice 3d effect going on look at that that is super cool um <clears throat> so of course you don't have in any internal skeletonization going on because how would you skeletonize internally there's no way you cannot do this um of course being an integral you don't have any standoff any backspace here but you do have a lanyard all um solution right over here going through this point and going through there kind of like in the satori style a little bit um blade absolutely safely recessed you cannot uh, snug the tip which is perfectly centered uh, right there so you just <clears throat> not have you're not gonna have any problem also, something really cool, <clears throat> sorry, is the look when this blade is closed. Very nice lines, like this wavy contouring going on is kind of like uh, protected by the sweeping action of the double swedge on the blade. And this thing uh, is probably my only gripe like for the overall look of the design you see really flowing this thing sticks out but of course this thing is gonna be there because it's gonna go and slam up against the uh this area over here which is acting as a stop pin brilliant so that uh completely eliminates the need of uh, the 
actual pin, which in this case you can see it's nicely hidden here. But here you can actually see that it's there. You don't really see it, but it's there. So um, also um, something that I want to show you just uh, just to give you an idea of the actual size. Uh, this is uh, Kirby Lambert uh, Augustus, uh, just a beast of a knife. And this is uh, the Peter Rassenti that I just showed you. So just to have an, an idea of another integral, this is Mokutai, this is titanium. Um, and uh, what else can I show you? Uh, just like for size comparison, why not? A couple of nicest... Uh, Nice uh, lookers, uh, that's the brand uh, Dovoid XL, and uh, like another full size knife uh, looker is gonna be the Shirogorov Custom Division F3B, and another, of course, why not uh, Hold Blade Works uh, Spectre, that's V3 Prestige. But we're here to chat about this Loxa, which is just something out of this world very incredible knife. You get, I mean, just check this pivot here. How about this pivot here? With some Mokutai inlaid going on and custom on this side. By the way, uh, the um, knife comes with a custom tool, of course. So you can take this guy apart, which I'm not gonna do because I'm not crazy. I don't want to uh, mar, I don't wanna scratch, I don't wanna do anything to this beauty because uh, it will kill me. Um, so I'm assuming that this assembly is going to be pretty straightforward. Take this apart. Uh, you just pull the pivot off, pop the blade out. It's running on washers. You're done. You don't even have the clip here. So this is a clipless option, which I appreciate that. This is uh, living like in a pouch, probably, or directly in your pocket. You don't need the clip. This is just something you take and boom, you just deploy and you use it. You enjoy it. So um, very, very cool option. I, I enjoy the clipless uh, uh, thing going on. And um, I know somebody is going to be upset, but... Uh, yeah, I, I understand. I like it. What I also like is this. When you deploy the blade, you get, of course, as I said, this is going to hit that as a stop pin. Fine. And then you have this thumb ramp, which is just gorgeous. Like, just to, to rub your finger in this specific point over here is just, like, fantastic. It's like, oh, my God, the feeling going on over here is just insane. Um, you have, uh, like, really. The start of the blade from, from this point is just gorgeous. Goes up a little bit of thumb ramp. And then what? And then you have a swedge already there. Like starts from there. Look at this. Swedge, swedge, swedge. And then stops there in this creating this rhomboid figure on the spine. So it stops there, but then starts again. Changes its mind and reaches the tip in this double swedging affair on the spine of this blade, creating this rhomboid figure on the spine. Amazing, unreal, beautifully executed in a hand rub satin finish as well. This is a nice drop point hollow grind S90 B steel. Uh, the uh, choil over here is finger choil as well, because check how the sharpening job has been done. Look at how Far is the plunge grind from the heel of the blade. That's how you do it. This is how it's supposed to be. Because you can sharpen, like up to this point, the stud is going to be out of the sharpening path. It's uh, also out of the cutting path. If you see, cutting is like here. The stud is before the cutting path. So you can slice. Nothing is going to get snagged there because you're just going to stop there to cut. You can cut like stuff here. Very good. Different story for the Sebenza. Sebenza has the thumb stud directly on top of the heel. That's the difference, right? So um, that's a very good placement for the stud. Also, another thing for the stud, it's the orientation of the stud. Look at this. In <clears throat> I think the uh, Kershaw made uh, something like that. But the angle is just perfect because... Like from this perspective, you see that the thumb is going to hit like perfect like that. And that's just the direction this guy wants to be flicked to deploy the blade. And of course, it's just one stud. You can't do any spider flick. It's just going to be thumb flick for this 
knife right over here. Um, so very cool placement for the stud, which I believe is Zirk. Um, there is no billboarding going on anywhere in this knife. I love it. There is no need to write Scott Cook Loxa anywhere because you know this is a Scott Cook Loxa knife. Just uh, spectacularly executed blade uh, it's just fantastic and I mean the sound oof guys one more time oof gorgeously deep clacky sound it's fantastic uh, I love this sound it's sharp but mellow at the same time it's full it's rich <laughs> I love it. When you close it, think subtle, elegant, discreet, classy. It's fantastic. Let me check the weight on this bad boy here. Really, really cool. Um, let's see. This guy is going to be 4.14 ounces in your pocket, so nothing too crazy. Um, the Ergos are pretty much flawless. The fact that this is like a fluted uh, and contoured uh, handle helps a lot with the grip, with the Ergos. Really, really cool. Nice thumb brand option over here. You want to do a little bit more advanced grip? Sure, go ahead. There's no jimping, so just be uh, mindful of that. It's a little bit slippery right over here. So maybe like here, this acts also like as a finger guard. So right over here or a little bit more back, you can do this. Or you gain a little bit more precision, a little bit more advanced grip like that. It's going to be fine, but you have less purchase. Or you can do like a nice reverse grip. Full handle is going to help big time. Um, nice choke up. Uh, the knife is absolutely solid, of course. There's nothing moving because there's no parts. Basically, it's one part uh, for the handle, so there's no torque. I mean, nothing, guys. This feels like a solid chunk of metal, and it's amazing. No rattling, no gaps. Fit and finish is spectacular. It's out of this world. It's amazing, guys. And when you go to the action, that's where this thing shines. This is running on a um, washer, so no bearings, okay? Uh, but the glassiness, the smoothness of this thing, like, is making, like, a Sebenza feel like something, I don't know, like, cheap and gritty. And, I mean, it's pretty cool, like, this Sebenza. It's, like, amazing. But, guys, here, it's something different. I don't know. It's, like, effortless. Like, the, the micro-movements are also where you're going to notice if the knife uh, is uh, tight uh, for tolerances or not. If it's like, try to just open the knife, just no pressure on the lock bar, just like that, and just try to do sl slow movement. And, and you see if there's any play or nothing, if the blade wants to wiggle it, there's nothing moving here. This is solid as a rock. Um, one, the only thing is just a little bit late lockup, but there's no lock stick, no stainless steel lock face insert, no over travel lock bar stabilizer right over here. It's clean and neat, uh, but works 100%. Super solid lockup. This thing is not going to go anywhere. The only thing you have to be careful about is uh, the uh, overextending of the lock bar because there's nothing preventing you from overextending that way so that you might uh, uh, pay attention. But beside that, you're going to be pretty much good to go. The action, it's pretty much thumbs uh, operated, so thumb flick operated. But the, the thing about this knife is that this... Uh, uh, deploys reliably every time. Of course, there's no guillotine effect. You get a shake to, it's like a Sebenza, so don't expect any guillotine effect, but you can expect this, which is like a fantastic deployment with a beautiful sound. The detent is perfectly dialed in, guys. Something unique. You gotta experience this to understand it and say, okay, I understand. Okay, I, I get it because I tried it. If I'm telling you, and you're like, yeah, but still four grand, I mean, blah, 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 blah. Guys, try this thing on. It's it's a grail for a reason. I mean, that's that's a reason. There must be a reason why people are spending $4,000 to buy this thing. It's just because it's phenomenal. It exudes quality. It's super exclusive. It's fantastically done. Beautiful to look at. Great action. Fantastic ergos. Super classy. Elegant. Minimal. I love it. So there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned.